Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Craftmas. Today we're going to be making lollipop stick decoration things. I'm not entirely sure what to call these. They're kind of like little framed pictures with lollipop sticks. But I'm not sure how to name them. So I guess that'll do. This is probably more for kind of kids to do. I don't think many adults would really kind of enjoy doing this. Well, you might enjoy it, you just might find the results a bit naff. But I think your kids will enjoy doing this one. So we'll have a, <laughs> we'll ju jump into it and see how it goes and yeah, I'll show you how you make them anyway. Okay, so for this one, all you're going to need is some lollipop sticks. And some other things as well. But for the first step, you just need your lollipop sticks. And I'd recommend getting some big ones, some decent sized ones. And all you want to do is take your glue gun. And we're going to glue... Hang on. We're going to glue it like that. So I want a bit of glue there. A bit of glue there. And then... So, and yeah, these are like little kind of frames, lollipop frames, I think I would call them. Lollipop picture frame decorations, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. You let me know in the comments when we're done what I should call these. Or if they should have a name. <laughs> what should I call these? Trash. <laughs> And then repeat the same one here on the same side. And then once that's set, you'll have something that looks like this. Pretty straightforward. You can be a little neater. I haven't been very neat with that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue some fabric or some paper kind of behind. So that's kind of the frame. So we'll grab some fabric now. I'm going to use this fabric here. I think that's quite nice. And what I would recommend for this is to glue, rather than cut, a, cut the square out and try and glue it on, I would glue the frame on to the piece of fabric or paper, and then you can kind of cut around it. It just makes it a lot easier. And you can kind of pick what you want to kind of display. I'll probably use, uh, yeah, I'll probably just go for that one. So just want to add some glue all the way along this side. And then once that's set, we're going to trim obviously all this excess off. So we'll do that now. Once you've trimmed all your excess off, you'll have something that looks like this. And we want to glue some ribbon to the top part of it. And one thing I realized when I was making these is lollipop sticks are really fragile. So what I wanted to do originally was to kind of drill some holes into the tops. So I could put the string through and the lollipop sticks just shatter. So it's just a lot easier to glue them down. Which it's not ideal, but... It, again, it's easier. Just do it on the back so it looks a bit neat. And again, you can use super glue for this, or you can use a glue gun. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to use a glue gun because it's quicker. And again, I can't imagine adults are going to get much excitement from this kind of little craft project. But kids should really enjoy it, shouldn't they? I don't know. I don't have kids. But I think young kids would enjoy kind of making these, maybe. Some adults actually might enjoy making these, who knows. They're not terrible to make. 
they just don't particularly look amazing. They look like a children's craft project. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright, and then once you've kind of, once you've stuck your ribbon on, you'll have something like that. But I want to get this painted because I don't like the kind of raw lollipop stick material. So I've done some that I've created before, so I'll show you them now. And I've got these ones here, and I just used wrapping paper for these. As you can see this one, this is where I tried to drill holes in and shattered the tops of them. So that doesn't work, but paper's quite easy to use. And some more I've used with paper, and one I've done with fabric as well. And obviously I've painted these, and you can be kind of as rough as ready as you want with these. You don't have to be perfect. And you know what, they don't look too bad. And you could probably even put kind of photographs of your family or your animals or something in there. You can be really creative with these and you could probably make them look more sophisticated than what I've made them look like. I've made them look like a five-year-old's made them. But you could probably do a lot better of a job than I can. But they don't look terrible and they are really easy to make and yeah, they're not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll hang them on the tree amongst all of our other projects we've done and yeah we'll we'll hang them up there and see what they look like And you know what, they're actually not too bad. I think you could kind of zhuzh them up a bit and make them look a lot more sophisticated than what I've made. Maybe add some kind of glitter or colour them in kind of like maybe golds and silvers or less primary colours. I think that, I think there is potential in that. I think there's potential to make them look really nice. And again, I think the idea of putting kind of photos of your family or your animals or just your best mates and stuff like that, I think that could look really nice. But hopefully you did enjoy today's episode of Craftmas. If you did, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps the channel out a lot and you don't miss any of my uploads. And make sure to tune in to tomorrow's episode where I make something I've never actually made before. So hopefully it'll go okay. I hope. I really hope it does. So hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.